Hello, carpet cleaning world. And the man sitting to the left of me here needs no introduction, but I'm going to flatter him anyway. This is Courtney Lee. For y'all that don't know him, y'all, I don't know what to tell you. And, and I this can't, one, you know, Roger, I can't see you. You can't see me? Ah. Uh -uh. Oh, shucks. I see you. You there. There's got to be something with your camera, but I see you. So we we good. Okay. I'm, I'm and I can hear you too. But I need my backup to clarify. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I can see you here. It's telling me everything's good. Yeah, we got two people in here. So that's something right there. How are we looking? You can hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, good. All right. So, Courtney, um, man, you've been doing so many things since you had last been on this show. And, uh, you know, what you want to talk about, man? I, I got to I can't go too formal because we know each other too well. So what you want to talk about? Uh, you know what, man? First of all, uh, my phone not freezing, is it? No, you fine. I froze up on my screen. Mm. Um, but first of all, man, just want to talk about you know. Uh, first of all, just let everybody know that you know the uh, the things that me and you had going earlier uh, last year. Can you hear me, Roger? Yeah, you fine. Okay, so I can hear you live. My, my screen just froze. Oh, Hold okay. on one second, guys. <laughs> oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay. Uh, okay, so everybody said they can see and hear both of us. Right. Ter pull your screen back. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Yep. Um, so, you know, like I said, man, I just wanted to, uh, you know, just come on here. I know me and you talked, and we've been talking a lot this uh, year. We talked a lot a, a lot last year, but just wanted to let, you know, first of all, the carpet cleaning world know that me and you have just come together uh, with a lot of uh, positive thinking, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, just just push putting back what we had last year um, that kind of made us, uh, you know, go different ways for just a moment. It was just temporarily. But I think sometimes you got to go through that uh, when you when you when you are meant to uh, do great things together. So I'll just tell you, man, it was uh, last year was just a it was a crazy year, you know, yeah. being on these groups and social media um but like i said man I, I i reached out to you at the beginning of this year because like i told you i didn't want to go into 2019 with anyone having any kind of animosity towards me um and just wanted to make sure that we can get on the right path which we have yeah. um so i know last year man i was joking with you man i know you told me uh somebody had called you and uh you <laughs> said you see courtney <laughs> and, uh, and and Roger said, "What has Courtney did now?" And you said, what? "Roger said, man, I got woke up out my rest." <laughs> man, I th now that we look back on it, it was so funny, man. But back then, it was just so foolish. And the phone calls that me and you had that led up to that arguing mm -hmm. back and forth about packages and yeah. this and that. But you know, we just want to let guys know, man, that you know, no matter what you go through. Uh, no matter who you go through it with, look at it as me and Roger as an example because you know we had um, basically um, built up a uh, some kind of like it was some kind of title fight, and people you know they fed into it, they really fed into it, and um, you know. But the thing about uh, uh, that you see us now uh, is that you can overcome you can overcome negativity you can overcome um you know bad vibes uh, sometimes you just got to walk away and you got to give each other space and time 
And now, you know, like I said, me and Roger talk at least two or three times a week, and I support him. He support me. Uh, I did uh, buy his marketing packages, and I'm going to put together my own folders, which I got coming soon. I had Kim to revamp some words and, you know, do certain things for me. But, you know, just just because, again, we both have the same vision. We both have the same vision. And Roger always tell me, say, Courtney, you know, I'm getting old, man. I can't push this one. But I got other things that I'm working on and other things I want to do. And um, but, you know, I, I just feel good, man, about 2019. I feel even better uh, reaching out to you. And now that, you know, we are uh, just going to make a movement of doing great things in this industry because both of us really – really love this industry and got a lot of, uh, um, you know, just a lot of pride in it. Right. It's true. And Courtney, I apologize to you too, man. Cause I'm, I ain't, I ain't bigger than nobody. You know what I mean? I could have reached out to you a little bit sooner, but I guess I just said, you know what, you know, these young whippersnappers coming in here and blah, blah, blah. And then I realized, I realized that I'm learning from you you know, just as much as you might see, or you might take want to take a few things from me, but I'm learning from you every day. See, it's one thing to be totally serious about what you believe in, but it's something about the Courtney Lee TV show every morning, a radio show. When you come in there, you got music on that most of your fans don't even know, never heard of. <laughs> and yeah. you be, you be jam. I'm like, oh snap. <laughs> you had a little Tupac, you be going on. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, that's a feel good. That's a feel yes. good. And so when people attack at you, number one, I know you're smart enough to know this. When people attack at you, attack at you, they're jealous of you because if they could do it, so many people, oh, I could do a ride along. I do a ride along, but why didn't you do it? Why didn't you publicize it? I never heard exactly. about your ride along, but I heard about Courtney Lee's ride along. Oh, well, who gives him the authority? Well, come, wait, 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 wait. Who gives him the authority? I'm so glad I could say this while you're right here beside me for a change. The person that's paying him gives him the authority. I mean, there you come go. on, man. Like, you know, so, you know, but. You know, at a point in time, and still to this day, I go through some of that nonsense too. Just like tonight, I had to laugh a little bit. I knew you would get them. Somebody silly wanted to say to you about some, is it legal? Is it legal that you were pouring the spotters and the spot remover and the spot bottles? I'm like, you know what? The jealousy is oozing out of them. And they think that they look good, but in all actuality, you were laughing at you, dude. Like, yo, if you don't think that it's legal, keep that to yourself. A private message, Courtney. Why you, you know, you always keep like 30, 40 people watching them. Why you got to say something silly like that? And then, yeah. you know, but we know, like they, they want you to get caught up in something. So they're like, oh, I knew it was a fad. I knew he was this. I knew he was that. And then what is that going to make you sleep at night? Because you might have caught him up. The man is, is showing you stuff all day long. He's in business just like you, but he's showing you all day long what the day is like. Are you doing the same? Are you doing the same? And yep. so, you know, I know you got Chandler and I know you got Chad. So I'll be like, you know what? I, I said what I had to say in that one video, but then I, I like, I got my own thing going on over here, but you got your backup. And so I'll be like, okay, okay, but don't don't ever get it twisted, y'all. If I ever see that you try to catch him with his pants down, I'm coming over there and I'm coming for you. And I'm gonna tell you. You sure did. And then I thank you for that, man, because somebody, you know, sometimes we gotta step up and uh speak up for one another, you know, because like you said, a lot of these old school guys, um, they they don't, you know, it kind of in disagreement of what they see I'm doing. Um, but you made a good point. You said, Courtney, this is just a new generation. A lot of these guys don't want to go sit in classrooms all day. A lot of these guys don't want to, you know, read books all day. A lot of these guys just want to get straight out in the field. You know, it's just the, the time that we live in. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, and, and, and I feel like that's that's what I'm here for is to show guys, uh, you know, that you, you don't have to go. I think Chad said it in, a, in, a, in, in one way. He said, I forgot what he said, but basically – you don't have to go always 
uh, read a book or sit in a classroom to learn. You know, the best experience is always hands on. Um, but, you know, even sometimes, man, like I said, Roger, I have to check myself and I have to check my own thought process because they said, you know, I, I said sometimes, you know, it's not even hating. Sometimes it's not hating. Sometimes people just don't understand. They just don't understand, you know. Um, and, and again, everything is not meant to be understood. You see what I'm saying? So a, a lot of times you don't have to say, you know what, are they really hating or maybe they just don't understand. Maybe they just don't get it. And, you know, again, sometimes people just don't get it. They're just not going to comprehend with it. But in the day is, like you said, as long as there's someone that does understand, there's someone that's willing to buy the product, willing to buy the service. At the end of the day, that's the only thing that should matter. Right. But I'm sorry. I still got to defend for you a little bit. Listen, <laughs> I'm from the old school. <laughs> I'm sorry. When they come at you, like all that about the, the ride along, like, mm, listen. You heard the boy Josh. You heard. You watched him pushing the wand. He was loading the truck. He was doing this. He was doing it. I have technicians that I've had work for me for months at a time. And they still like, oh, we wrap the hose like that. Oh, we got to do this. or we got to check the filter. or we got to empty this. or we got to clean out the vacuum. Like there's things that he learned from you. That as a business owner, not a cleaning technician. See, that's where everybody got it wrong. The ride along wasn't about him just learning how to clean. What he learned was how Courtney interacts with his clients. You crazy sons of a guns. <laughs> like, I mean, I just, I was sitting there listening, looking at your comments. I'm like, Roger, just, just go, just go back over to the carpet cleaning world. Just go. Just, just, just. Cause I mean, it's like, you know, I went like, and, and you had it, you had it. Don't, don't get it twisted. You ain't no baby. Yep. But I, I just wanted to punch a few in there to, you know how we do. We just, yeah, <laughs> yeah sure, but, exactly. And so, you know, I was just, and some of the guys, yes, you're right. They are like, you know, they're misunderstanding. But then some of the older guys that was in there that just don't feel as though you qualify for whatever their personal reasons are, they were attacking you. Yeah. And I just look, see, I'm in y'all, I'm in y'all school, the old school. See, y'all come at me. Like I told our one friend, I ain't going to throw no names out there, but I let our one guy that had something to say about you. I told you, I called you. I said, I'm yep. going to let him know. Like you, you come, you come. I'm from your school. You come attack me. Don't come over there where Courtney got something decent going on for his generation. And like you want to sit there and say to Courtney, oh, I almost died. Well, join the crowd, my friend. So did I. So like, <laughs> exactly. you know, like come on, man. Like, I, yeah, so I think that even strengthened the bond for me to want to push you in this revolution to go for because you got the young guys ears. You even got some young girls ears. I mean, that are in the cleaning business and it's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sound condescending, but I am proud of you. I mean, you only 10 years young. Like you said, you ain't that young, a young, much younger than me is what I'm saying. But I mean, I am proud that, you know, someone even 10 years younger than me got it and they're going to push it right on through because before you, I wasn't too sure. Yeah, you got Andre Brown. He kind of disappeared for a little bit, but, you know, he might have personal issues. Who knows? I'll talk to him in due time. But, I mean, you know, Courtney, a lot of people don't know our history. Like, it was you, me, and Chandler three years ago at Mikey's Fest. In St. Petersburg. That's it. And then we went to dinner and we did the whole nine. But, I mean... You know, we met great guys like Marty Sutler. We met uh, Bob uh, Pruitt. Uh, Bob, Bob Pruitt, and uh, we even met Tim Con. T T was it Tim Conway? Um, uh, Thomas Conway, Tom Devastator Conway. One. Right. My first uh, time uh, meeting Mark Sager. Mayor Sager. Uh, the little starstruck. Don't forget. Mike Payet. I didn't know who the hell Mike Payet was, <laughs> he, even at his own event. I'm like, who the hell is this giant walking around? Did, he, did I was gonna say? Did he look like Lurch? I was like, who's Lurch? But see, I knew, I knew. Um, Mikey from back in the day when he had Mikey's board, but I know I never met him, you know, seen him up close. I know he was that looking like Lurch, you know, like Frank and like the tall. The tall yeah, guy. but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then who else was um uh Eric Hilts, the zipper, zipper man was there. 
Eric, I, didn't, I didn't even I say because like I said that 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 event was um uh, you know it wasn't you know it was my first event uh yeah. because me and Chandler decided to go and then obviously we we ran into you mm-hmm. and at in that event we were the uh only three black guys there. Right. So it was it was just me, you and Chandler really. Um and um but this this past Mikey's Fest, man, it was just a totally, totally different event than I went to three years ago and it was a great experience and uh, just to see all the members that showed up and man we just had a great time and just to meet and see all the smiles there and uh, uh, I mean it, it, was, it, it was something special it was something that that I will always tr- cherish and that can never be replaced because of how different it was than any other, uh, any other event um, but just to see cleaners from all over the local guys coming together and bonding and, and and again showing what this industry is all about because I, you know i have guys man that call me behind the scenes uh roger you know you, you know mike got paid for that uh you, you know i like guys it's to me it, erase the mikey to me it's not about mikey it's about cleaners coming together and doing something from the heart and doing something good and, and that's another thing man we got to get out of that worrying about what other people are doing i had so many cleaners man man y'all you, you know mikey man you know he get paid off them off cleaning the running mcdonald houses mm. and right it ain't my business right <laughs> You and the know. same thing with you, man, guys. Like, like I, that, that day I called you because I knew they had got at you. I knew. I said, man, they got Roger. Man, Roger want to snap. And I called you that morning. And, and I told you, I said, Roger, this is this, this is your group. You don't let mm-hmm. nobody come over here and, 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 and take you off what you're supposed to be focused on. And, um, you know, how much you making off those ones. Ain't none of their damn business on what you make off the ones. If they ain't buying it, even they buying it. Well, I, I bought a stair tool from Roger. Mm-hmm. I paid, and he could show you the invoice, $450. Mm-hmm. I, I, did, I, I didn't have the audacity to ask a man how much he's making off of it. It's none of my mm-hmm. business. Right. And, and 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 again, Roger. You know, and and the truth is, a, a lot of people they don't want to see, uh, you know, uh, people catching up to them or doing better than them. So they have to always question. They have to always question when someone does do something. Why are they doing it? Or like you said, like when it came to me, those messages that I got. What mm-hmm. gave him the right? What, what? What? Why? Who gave him the right to do it? I gave right. you the right to do it. You know. Right. Um. And, and you just gotta have that attitude, man, because you know it, it can. It can. This is definitely. I told you, and I talked to you and uh, Joe Bristol yesterday. And yeah. what I told you guys, I said, man, if y'all was politicians, all y'all had to be in jail. Because <laughs> y'all, t- y'all put all y'all. But you know that's y'all old school guys. And um, but like I told you, I told Joe. I told mm-hmm. Mike Payote, mm-hmm. keep my name out that mess because that's not what I represent. You know, this mm-hmm. 15 and 20 and 30 year uh, feud that you guys have going, you guys got to learn how to figure that out. Um, and, and and again, uh, I'm just trying to do what, you know, I'm I, I'm here to do. Uh, I know everybody's not going to agree with it. I know everybody's not going to like it. Oh, 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 so, you know, hey, life goes on. But at the end of the day, man, it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be this way. You know, all this arguing over twos and uh, 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 pre-sprays and ones. And, I mean, I, like I said, when I reached out to you at the beginning of this year, I just want to leave all that foolishness behind, you know. And and, um, and I'm so happy that now we can talk, we can get on each other's pages. And because at the end of the day, I don't, I don't care if it's carpet cleaning world, uh mm-hmm. cleaners connect or whatever at the end of the day man we all in this together right uh, we just have a different following mm-hmm. but at the end of the day among we are uh, uh uh making a positive impact that's the only thing that should matter you know it doesn't matter what group it's coming from as long as as long as, as, long as it's positive and it, it it helps each other grow and uh reach our goals and i i see that that's what you're doing mm-hmm. um and I support you in each and every way. Same here. But I got to clear something up. I just ain't want to interrupt you. Number one, <laughs> that deal that just happened the other day in your group. Listen, I want everyone to know. I just officially met Joe Brister, uh, I want to say a month ago. Um, I went to his page 
uh, his uh, store because I wanted the hose to help brand myself. And I even talked to you. You might have forgot, but I had talked to you. I said, hey, do you know about this uh, Wander's products or whatever? And you said, yeah, I buy from him or whatever. Do you remember that? Yeah, so I remember that. That's that's when I, if you think about it, that's when I just met him. And then, you know, Mikey's our boy. He's been our boy for a while, whatever. And so he will call himself warning me. You know, Roger, I'm trying to tell you the experiences I had. And then, you know, Waldo, you never know what page he on. And like I said, wait a minute. I'm sitting here advertising the guy's product like I just showed today on this page that I bought. I bought his stuff. I have his yep. stuff here. So just like you, you're not in bed with Marquette, but you like Marquette and it works for you. So if somebody come to you and say, hey, oh, no, Courtney, I know them. Don't do this. You going to be like, hey, listen, they haven't done nothing to me. Now, I'm almost 50 years old, and I know Joe Brister is almost like 80 or 70, whatever he is. Listen, if he do something, if he do something to me, then I'll address it. But my stuff came here as promised. I haven't had any problems. I show the videos just like you do. And so, you know, Mikey and Waldo came in and started, oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, listen, I'm not in it. Like I said, all I did was show you what I bought. I could show you something else that I buy in my own group. And they could come in there and say, but, you know, that ain't no feud. I just wanted to make it clear, everyone, that ain't no feud that Roger Lloyd's in. I, I don't work for um, Joe Brister. I, 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 he doesn't give me any favoritism. I had to pay over $1,000 for everything that I showed you today. And he wanted to be clear. Now, Roger, everything's going to be good with my money. So the same way he would treat everyone else is the way he treated me. So, you know, yes, he said, well, Roger, if you refer anyone to me, I'll give them a Joe Val. So anyone that mentions my name, as long as you still got to buy from him, he'll give you a Joe Val. And that yep. is a pretty good Val. But yep. I'm not getting paid for that. So, you know, like I said, I try to tell Mikey and all them, if, we st if Joe and I stop talking tomorrow, I mean, you know, like this, I still will buy his products unless you don't want to sell them to me. And then you and I would still go on. We would still have our Facebook groups, and we would refer and push somebody else. And that's just the way it would be. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you know, I apologize for the involvement. Because, like I said, if I had known that that was going to start World War III, I wouldn't have put that on my page or your page. But Yeah, you know, man, it, it got pretty bad over there because they even put channel name. And that's why I said, man, dude, don't put me in channel in this because – we, we ain't got nothing to do with that few. And then, like you said, man, that's, that's one thing I told you yesterday. I was on the phone with you and Joe yesterday. What did I tell Joe? I said, Joe, I, I was not impressed with your hoses. Your hoses popped within right. six months. But I love all your other little accessories. Your little, your, he got, to me, the best shut-off valves in the industry. A lot of other little tools that he have. And, you know, what he told me, he said, well, Courtney, why you didn't call me? You know, well, now I know if I ever have problems with his tools, I can just call him. But like you just said, man, I'm not here to sit here and dictate what I should buy and what I should use based off somebody else's experience. Tony, they ain't got did nothing to I me. Ready, Tom, I was getting ready to say that. I was yeah. ready to bring his name Thomas, up. Thomas Conway ain't did nothing to me. Mark Sager right. ain't did nothing. DeAndre right. ain't. So, like I told you, until they start cutting the checks and they right. start endorsing <laughs> us or endorsing me to, to, to not talk about another um uh platform, Right. At the end of the day, I'm gonna make my own choice. You know, right. if I like it, I like. It. If I don't, I don't. Uh, and that's why we have options in this world and also in this industry. So, right. you know, Tony Dane sent me. Uh, he sent me a one last year, and right. I, I, and I just told. And you know, and again, I got bashed about that because of my opinion. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 it's even worse when you get bashed about something that you never use. Uh, I got both the ones. I got two devastator ones. When I first right. touched that one. I was impressed with it. And mm -hmm. I told myself, if I ever, if this one ever goes down, I want to be able to put my hand on the exact same one. But Tony Dane sent me a one. Mm -hmm. And after using it with one job, I didn't like it. I just right. felt like it was creating too much airflow. It was putting too much strain on my shoulders and my arms. Right. And I gave my honest opinion. And right. Tom told, uh, to, uh, Tony told me to take it to uh, TCS and drop it off. And I did. Mm -hmm. And then he sent me another one. Uh, last week it actually right. got here before. Um, because I guess he seen the order that I had bought the stereo tube. So, right. um, 
Uh, he sent me a new one, and I'm just gonna be honest with you. I've been using this one for almost a week. I got I the like same the one. one. I know. I got. Yep. Yep. I like but, the one. Now see, I to- Go ahead. Go ahead. And, and like I told everybody, it's performance wise. It's a great tool. Now, when it comes to maintenance, who knows? It, it, it might last three months, six months, right. or, or or a year. But as far as just performance, it's a great tool. It's a great one. I clean with it today. We did three jobs with it today. I, I watch your my helper, video. I mean, <laughs> I watch your video. Yeah, I you watch my video? Yeah. Because if I didn't like that one, it don't take me that long to use something to determine if I like it or not. And you've been seeing I, that one has been in all my videos. I did a video, man. My, me and my uh, ride along, Josh, we did a yeah. video. I think it was Thursday or Friday with that one. This carpet was dirty, but we cleaned with that one. Roger, that video on YouTube got over 24,000 views already. Wow. Wow. wow, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Nah. But you know what? Like I said, everybody, um, hell, Roger, you sell wines now. Listen, <laughs> Tony Dang and I, we met, oh, I don't know, a year or two ago. I've been selling his little duck tool or whatever to clean out vents and things like that. He, um, I had talked to him late last year and I had told him, I said, I need a stair tool that's easy on my back. I, no disrespect, Courtney. I wasn't thinking about you or no other carpet cleaner. <laughs> I was thinking about my back, you know. And he was like, oh, yep. sure, sure, i make it. And then um, you saw it that you bought one. Like, it really keeps you, and you're not even that old yet, but it keeps you from having to bend all the way down. So by the time you do get my age, it'll save your back. And, yep. you know, right away, you know, I'm not going to say no name, but a certain group came at, oh, no, Roger, that's crazy. That wine's going to fall, that stair tool's going to fall apart, blah, 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 blah. Listen. If the tool falls apart, I have a I have a, a document trail from Tony Dang that says any product that you push that falls apart, they have any problem, I'll replace it. If you ever have to wind up suing Tony Dang for whatever, and you need me to be like, well, this is where the distributor I got it from, and this is what was said to me, I will back you up. So see all that the other night in your group? Oh, Roger, don't get in bed with this. See, I know they're not used to dealing with a real uh, uh, carpet cleaner slash distributor or whatever because there's so many snakes in this game. And I agree. But no, if Tony Dang soils my name, trust me, I'm going to let y'all know about it. And then he won't sell no V3s, V4s, V5s. He won't sell nothing. If Joe Brister... Cut, like gives me a problem when I buy something from you. I'm going to tell cleaners connect connectors. I'm gonna tell carpet cleaning world. I'm gonna let y'all know. So now let's talk about this. Courtney brought Marquette to all of our attention. So Marquette is offering things, and right now that house called Pro. Let's just it's just me and you. We going to keep it real. They offering things that that Marquette. I mean, that house called Pro is just isn't. Do you heard uh, uh, Roland and both of our meetings or groups with him ask him, well, we want text blasting. He already said, no, he's not going to do it. So, blam, there it is. Y'all can call me a turncoat. Y'all can call me a red coat. Y'all can call me whatever you want. Courtney put it out there. Listen, I got so many calls from my text blast. I did this. I'm doing this. You heard about the route planner. You heard about all the, all the things that the, the three the customer 360 and yep. all that I know you ain't gonna mess with that because you don't do postcards, but that's okay. But some yeah. of us do, and it's like it's just all now. Wait a minute, Roger House Call Pro does postcards too. No, it's different. They don't have that the area that you just did where you can send a, a, a mass postcard mailing right to that area to get let them know you just cleaned the neighbor's house. And all of that. See, it's a difference. So, like you said, Courtney, and so I bit into it too. Now, everyone's calling me and messaging me saying, Oh, Roger, so you and Courtney fully with Marquette? No, I am not. Do I like what they have right now? Yes. Am I impressed? Because my buddy on the left of me said, Roger, this is what we're going to do. And I have that much respect for Courtney. So we did it. But no, I am still keeping. My house called Pro, 
for the time being, and I want to say this with you on the other side of me, because you know how these guys, oh, Roger never said that. Well, I'm saying it in this video, so I know more people are watching this, and I am saying it. I'm keeping House Call Pro until I am sure that Marquette can hold up to everything that is so that is so impressive today. And Justin, I'm going to let you talk because this is your show too. But I just want to say. Are you fine? I, um, now, yeah, Roger, what's all this Marquette Monday? Listen, this is the carpet cleaning world. And, you know, I, st I think I'm handsome, but y'all don't want to hear from me all the time. Y'all want to hear with Marquette. Maybe y'all want to ask the man or Julia, whichever one's going to come on on Mondays, which, well, you know, can y'all do this or does this do that or whatever? And then there's other members in here that want to ask the same question. So that's why we did that. Oh, well, Roger, but you still got House Call Pro. I saw that you still got the link up where they, you can get um, $19 if you join House Call Pro. Yes, yes, I am. I don't, I just talked to Roland. Roland was like, hey, Roger, so what's going on with Marquette Monday? I said, hold on, Roland Lightenberg. I said, I am not fully um, obligated to Marquette, and I'm still keeping you too. So you still going to get your money from me. I don't got no deal with Roland. I got to pay him every week, excuse me, every month, just like I got to pay Marquette. Same and here. I'm just weighing my options. So when my trial period is over, if I feel comfortable transferring all my data and everything and really shutting House Call Pro down, which I have used for the last two years, then I'll do it. But no, I'm not a turncoat, and I really don't care what y'all think of me. Oh, Roger, you sell to the highest bidder. No, neither one of them have came and offered me anything. And what I'm saying is I'm trying to put both of them out there. Courtney brought this. Courtney Lee brought this to our industry, number one. So I'm not going to take the credit. He brought it to me. Roger, try them out. And that's what we did. And we all happy. And thank you for that, Courtney. And you know what, man? I got to give credit to a lot of the members that was over there um, in Cleaners Connect that was uh, kind of putting Marquette on, uh, you know, on uh, blast. And also they had a uh, representative. I think her name is Sharon. She had been bugging me for like six months, man. It just got, it just, it just got annoying. And um, and then when I found out about the text blasting, I said, oh, whoa, I got to look into this because I already use a system called easytexting.com. And I've been I using easy texting for like three years. So I know text mm -hmm. reminders work. Right. And uh, so when I looked into Marquette and I said, you know, uh, because most cleaners, man, let's just be honest. Most cleaners di dictate tools and uh, uh, services by price. To me, it's not about the price. It's about what's going to do uh best for me and my business model right. so when i looked into market and i uh i kind of you know download downloaded the uh the app you know checked it out and, and um went to the website and then i had julie and scott come, come on cleaners connect because like you said i'm not i'm not getting any kind of residual income for none of these companies right. i might get something free here and free there or a little they discount up, right. but it ain't nothing to make me not talk about another company so when marquette came on the scene and you know uh, they let me try out my free trial and i turned on that text blast you and i sold. had them import all my information from my house car. like you said i still got house car pro right now i'm still paying house car pro every month i mm -hmm. haven't made that commitment to uh turn them off yet so anyway uh, but i'm definitely enjoying marquette and i turned on that man and, and again i got videos guys I turned on that text blast. I sent out 2,800 blasts to all mm -hmm. the numbers that was programmed in my app once they downloaded and imported all my numbers. Mm -hmm. It was two cents a text. It cost me $62. Right. Roger, you seen the videos over there in yes. Connect. Yep. You hear me talking to the customers. The customers said, thank you, Courtney, for sending me. Yep. Oh, we was just thinking about this, guys. Right. From not this not this week, not last uh Saturday, but the following Saturday. From the following Saturday to almost two Saturdays ago, I have booked over twenty six jobs. Money twenty six money, jobs money. off of sixty two dollars. So Thank my you, thing <laughs> is it, it, it it's not that it's to me, put it like this guy, this is what we have to understand as business people or just 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 
uh, uh, stop being simple minded is what I'm trying to say. Right. It's not that House Call Pro is better than Marquette or Marquette is better than House Call Pro. It's right. the ones, it's the system that works best for you and your business model because some people don't care about Text Blast. So if you don't care about Text Blast, again, you just choose one of them and just ride with it. But you have to choose one that, that benefits you and your business model. And I've been asking House Call Pro for almost a year about Text Blast. And until I did my own show with Roland on how on, on Cleaner Snack, he told me, he said, we're not going to do it because for some reason um, they, they, they think it's illegal. Okay, well, cool. Well, I just have to weigh my options and try something else. So I try Marquette. I've been using Marquette for almost um, two weeks now. And I will say I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. And a lot of the features that they offer, um, just like anything else, just like a one, just like cleaning products. I mean, before DeAndre Stoke Daddy came on the scene, um, now that his products are, he has probably, to me, if not, the best one of the best products on the market i don't care what people say about it i don't care how people feel about it uh you you got to give credit what credit is due the guy is not only not only do he see this is the thing people don't understand and they don't really open up their minds this guy not only sells us products he makes the product there is no middleman so when i asked the under when i first started using prime time which is my Prime, I was doing videos, prime time, <laughs> prime time. And I'm thinking to myself, how in the hell is this product cleaning so good and fast? Mm -hmm. It's not that it cleans fast, uh, good, but it cleans fast. And I talked to DeAndre, and I said, DeAndre, you know, um, because, I, you know, again, I understand how these chemicals are made, especially with liquid products, because I tell mm -hmm. guys, go, go, get any, go get any liquid product, any liquid product, and look mm -hmm. at the ingredients. And what's the first ingredients? Most cleaners can't tell you, but the first ingredients is water. Oh. It's water. But do they tell you how much water is in it? No. Mm -hmm. They're not going to tell you how much. They're not going to say it's 60% water. They'll be right. stupid. Right. So when DeAndre came out with Prime Time, which mm -hmm. is a powder pre-spray, and mm -hmm. I understand with powder pre-sprays, they use fillers. Fillers is just, it's just nothing. It's just, it's just, you just say it's sugar. It's not sugar, but it's just, just powder, it just nothing that it's not chemical, it's just these little white specks. And so anybody like Chad, especially Chandler, if you don't believe me, ask Chandler. <laughs> and when we first started using prime time, man, we said this this product is, is not like your typical powder pre-spray because it dissolves too good. It, it just right. it breaks down too good. Right. And, and not only does it break down good, it cleans so well. So when I talked to DeAndre, I said, DeAndre, what makes your product so much different than the other? He said, Courtney, I'm going to be honest with you. Most pre-sprays, they use a lot of fillers. With me, I probably, most of my pre-sprays, all my pre-sprays, my powder pre-sprays, mm -hmm. he said, that whole jug is probably all chemical. It's all chemical. It's no fillers. And mm -hmm. that was it. I said, that makes sense. So my thing is, sometimes we have to uh, open up our eyes and we have to use our common sense for ourselves and stop letting, and that's what me and Roger are saying, guys, stop letting other people dictate what you should use or what you should do or who you should be. You know, we are all human beings and uh, we all have our place in this world and you have to choose what's best for you. And I'm not going to let, you know, somebody say, oh, don't use this tool because I don't like this guy. <laughs> don't use this product because I don't right. like this guy. Don't uh, do ride alongs and consultants because you don't have any certificates. Like, <laughs> who are you? I mean, so we, we just got to open up our minds, man. And, 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 and uh, you know, like I said, if we can do that, we can all get along a whole lot better than uh, what we have been doing. But like I said, at the end of the day, this video is to show you guys that me and Roger, um, we, we back mm -hmm. and we're going to continue to do uh what we are meant to do and also what we want to do and we're not gonna let nobody knock us off of that we're not gonna let people tell us what we should and shouldn't do um and um and, and that's it guys because like i said last year um you know roger man you did that video and then, like i i knew i told channel i said man i hope it, i hope one day me and roger could sit back and laugh at that and I remember, man, you did that video and this is and you and after you did that video you blocked me. You blocked me for curvy in the world. <laughs>
I still hey, like you. Know, you were still said, my friend, <laughs> I'm cool and got money laid out on the table like it's a gangster movie. You better go put your money back in the bank. <laughs> Hey man, but you know what, guys? But as y'all see, uh, we put that in the past. Um, I was the bigger man to reach out, mm-hmm. and um, and the rest is history. So, um, just 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 do what's right, and uh, you know, if you're in this group, if you're in our group, in any group, be enough for the right reason. Because you know, I, I had a uh, uh, somebody put up a post on uh, CCP today. And they said that somebody had put up a post and he he uh, made a joke. He made a joke about me, about my ride alone. And 10 minutes later, the uh, post was put down. And I asked Chad, I said, Chad, did you take down the post? He said, no. And then we had, no. So I guess the only person that could take it down was the pe- person who put it up. Mm-hmm. So anyway, the guy put that over there at CCP. And he didn't mean no harm by it. But uh, a few of the members over there said, uh, one guy, he, he kind of made, uh, you know, uh, because this this is me. Cleaners Connect is my brand. This is mine. And he made a comment. He said, uh, what they're doing over there is bad for businesses. And I questioned him. And I said, what the hell you mean by that? Mm-hmm. And then I pulled up his profile. He's actually in the group. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> it just lets you know, guys, somebody can be in your group lurking. Mm. Me and you, no good tension, mm. and, and and to say something like that, that's what me and Roger are talking about. You have mm. to use your own common sense, and, and and don't let people stir you off what you believe in. And also, too, speak up for yourself because you right. know we 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 had a few, uh, you know, we had a few bad apples in the group that we had to get rid of because they didn't mean the group any good. And mm. uh, again, uh, things happen, but. We all moved on, and we're just going to continue to do what we do. And also, me and Roger are going to continue to do what we do, and it's just you know play our part and be the best that we can be. So, like I said, guys, um, I bought a stair tool from Roger. I like it. I bought Roger's marketing package. I love it. I, and when I get my photos put together, Roger, I'm definitely going to come uh, over here and uh, show those guys how I uh, you, you know utilize my folders. Uh, because again, everything that I bought from you, um, some of those services I don't offer, but I took the services that I do offer and uh, I'm going to insert those in my folders because, you know, I just feel like, you know, what what you've been trying to preach over these years, I've been knowing you. Yes. Give your customer information, give them literature, give them information just because they don't use it today does not mean that they won't use it tomorrow. Right. So when I see those folders, when I see those inserts, when I see those uh, the, the the educational material, that's very very important in our industry because you are right. What we do improves the quality of the home, and it, and it shouldn't just be about just going in there hitting it with a a a, a, a wand and spray some spray on it and suck it up. It should be more than that. And if we all start doing this and doing it together. It'll, it'll make all of us better. Agreed. Agreed times two, brother. Keep preaching. I told you. It's about to be the Courtney <laughs> Lee show. I love it. Oh, it's yeah, man. Like I said, be- man, you know, Roger, um, it, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about all of us. Because without the subscribers, without the followers, without the people reaching out, without the supporters, there would be no me. And uh, so I, I always let Cleaners Connect know, and they let me know. I get messages every day from the members, and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, because, like I said, this is just a new era. This is a new era, and uh, this is a great industry. And if you don't believe that, uh, you shouldn't even be in this industry. I tell guys like this all the time. Just, mm-hmm. just do your own research. You are in a multi-billion dollar business, a multi-billion, not million, billion dollar business. So when you hear cleaners talking about, oh, people going to hardwood, people going like, guys, are you kidding me? Carpet is not going anywhere. And if carpet do go where, go go somewhere, wherever they replace it with, guess what? It's going to have to be clean, and it'll probably be clean, uh, uh, have to be clean uh, with uh, more profit. You know, uh, you will have to charge more, you know, because you might not have to clean it as often. You know, I don't clean, I clean hardwoods at uh, 50 cents. 
50 cents to a dollar a square foot with carpet is what 25 30 cents a square foot so when you do hardwoods you're making even though you might not do it as much as carpet you're making double or sometimes triple the amount so you just got to get that negative that negative uh thinking out of your head you know this is carpet clean i tell guys like this once you see standing steamers go out of business <laughs> then you might have something to worry about until then carpet clean ain't going nowhere so get out here do it right uh, structure your business the way you need to structure it. Uh, network, uh, communicate, get on these boards, get on these groups, ask mm -hmm. questions, uh, mm -hmm. educate yourself, um, invest in yourself. Uh, like you said, man, I told Josh, I told that guy that came and rode, ride, uh, rode along with me uh, for those three days. For that guy, and and like I said, man, he, he, he was on me. He was on me for like almost two or three weeks, just sending me emails. And, um, and he, he told me, he said, Courtney, I follow, I see a lot of cleaners on uh, YouTube, but he said, if I can't learn from you, I don't even want to get into business. Mm. And when he told me that, I said, man, this guy is really serious. And I sent him that invoice for 2000 mm -hmm. and uh, Roger, within five minutes, invoice paid. Wow. And I still couldn't believe it. Yeah. And uh, I went and got him some shirts made, and mm -hmm. the rest was history. He he drove up here. Uh, I found him a hotel to stay in, and he mm -hmm. booked this hotel. And he rode with me uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And, 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 and what a lot of people seen on those videos was just a snippet. Because mm -hmm. the time that I put in with him, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 um, the conversations that we had, the questions that he asked, that the way I broke down details of when you when you uh when you step up to a customer's door, give them space. Don't be all up right. in the customer's you know face or all up in the front door like you about to bust in. Give the customer right. space. Right. You know, look the customers in the eye. These are the things right. I'm I'm telling him. You know, so right. it, you know everybody just seems to clean it. Oh, who who would pay someone two grand just to show them how to clean? Mm. See, that's the problem. You, you don't understand. It's more than just the cleaning. Right. And he did. I don't know if you seen. Yeah, you seen the video because you mm. coming on it. And did mm. you see what he said when he did that testimonial? He said he 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 suffered from uh um uh what did he say he's suffering from um uh, basically uh getting it in front of people um mm -hmm. uh, and, and did you see what he said he said Courtney the best mm -hmm. thing about this ride alone is it boosted my confidence right guys you can't put money on that no. you can't put money on boosting someone's confidence and for him to say that was just like. What else can people? How could you criticize it? How could you criticize it? So that's why I say, man, is that you gotta you gotta step out of your comfort zone. You gotta be willing to help people and, and do it from the heart. Because when you do that, and when people know what you're doing is right and they believe in it, you you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. You know, because um, people are always gonna have something to say. So it it was just a great experience for me too. Because I'm gonna tell you, man, the time that I uh, spent with Josh, it was it it, it, it meant a lot to me. But man, I I was getting home like 9 30, 10, 11 o'clock at night. And you just and, and we only did three jobs each day. So, you know, when I calculated it, because me and Ryan, uh, Ryan Kettering, he uh he talked to me about it. And when I calculated how much it cost me to do that ride along, because I even paid, I even paid my uh assistant Ethan uh uh time off. I paid him for those days I gave him off, I still pay him. So, um, so I said, if I would to continue to do that or offer that, I would probably want to do it maybe once or twice a year because mm -hmm. it's a lot of time that goes into it that a lot of people just don't see behind the scene. Right. But you know what? I want to say this too. You know, you're talking about the cleaning and the part that, um, you know, that he saw with you and the customers. It was much more than that. Courtney, we watch you start off every morning with the Courtney Carpet Cleaning World Cleaners Connect Everything Show. Anyone that's in Cleaners Connect, we watch you do your little dance and get the day started. And then we watch you go from one job, two jobs, three jobs, four jobs. Then you might send Kevin on the fifth job, whatever, however you do. It. The point is this. There is so much um value and watching you even the so-called veterans in this industry 
which makes me laugh because if you're a veteran so much and you got so much to say and you and Courtney's not, you know, authorized to do it or whatever, well, why are you so evil and so mean? Or like I like to call the, uh, uh, what is it, the CCP? I call it the Contaminated Cleaners page because they call your page Cleaners Corrupt. So let's let's corrupt. let's get let's give it all. So and then they might call my whatever they call the CCC world or whatever. I don't care. But the point is, it's the negativity that has been keeping us down way before you even started in this game, my young brother. And it, yeah. it amplified. And now you are one of the new leaders in the industry. And I just want to let that 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 contamination just wash right off of you. And that's why. And I like I said, he can't do nothing to me. Thomas Sir Mac, when he said what he said to you, see, I used to have problems with this guy way back when. He know me very well. And I liked his brother. His brother's the opposite of him. He's like, he wanted to help cleaners and he was positive. And he wanted to give the new cleaners a chance. Just a good guy, Mark Sir Mac. He's no longer with us, God bless his soul. But I mean, he was a genuine, bona fide, good helper in the industry. Over it used to be on Mikey's board. He used to have a greenhorn run, but I ain't even gonna get into all that. But I mean, he used to help a lot of cleaners. And then that, then you had this guy, his brother, and you know, you you have rich man, poor man situation, and that's kind of what he was. You know, Thomas, he helped people too. I'm not gonna lie, but it was always like in a negative way. And like that's why, I like when he was like, "Well, what gives you the right?" First of all, Thomas, you already said you almost died. I almost died too. So let's let the industry move on. Courtney's doing something that is very positive for the industry. And I'm going to announce it here in the carpet cleaning world. If you're nervous about starting this business, if you are in this business and things aren't going right on the job site, Courtney Lee of Cleaners Connect is authorized by yours truly. That's who authorized him. There you go. And he authorizes itself to give you a ride along. Now you say you only going to do it a couple times a year. So you already messed up for the for the spring before the spring season. So maybe you can catch him at the end of the summer, well right before the end, the end of the summer when it slows down a little bit again and he'll take a guy with him. But you could learn so much from that ride along simply because Courtney has a full roster. So each day that Josh went with Courtney, it was an adventure. All day long, I see the back of Josh's head pushing the wand. He was so lucky because when he starts off, he's not probably going to have a Tony Dang V3 wand. So he's going to start off with a Westpac wand, two jet, one jet wand. But he got trained on what he could work up to and what he could earn when he becomes a um, a veteran or, you know, a milestone carpet cleaner, and he rolled with Courtney Lee. So it's not you know, someone. Man, mm -hmm. You know, you, you know the one too that he put his hands on. He couldn't believe. It. He said, "I see it all the time," but he said, "Man, this CRB." He said, "It's going to be the first tool I buy." Um, so again, you know, it, it's just the experience, and sometimes right. we got we got to stop putting money on experiences. It's an experience, something that you can't get back. It's something that you you want. What Josh, what me and Josh did, he would never experience that again. Not to say he can't do it again or he can't do it with somebody else again, but the way me and him did it, and it was the first time you, you can't put a price on it. So we just got to get out of that mindset. You know, that's what, you know, Roger, because I used to be the same way. And then Chandler always tell me, he said, Courtney, that's why so many cleaners come to you because a lot of them start off like you. And uh, you give them, and you told me that, you said you give them hope, you know, your inspiration right. to them. And, and again, for all the cleaners that never heard of me, um, go to YouTube. You know, one thing about me, guys, I tell you, I don't have to, nothing to lie about. I don't have to get on here in front and pretend I'm doing something that I'm not. I have a track record. Go to YouTube, put in Truman Steamers. Go to Google, put in Truman Steamers. Courtney. I have a track record. And, and, and again, and I have enough people that can vouch for that. So, you know, my thing is that we got to stop putting money, you know, uh, in, 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 uh, before our, our, our sales, our, uh, the things that we want to do, the things we're trying to do, because you can always, always to the day you die, you can always get money back. But the things that's going to make you better, make you more valuable, 
and make you the best person Courtney and Lee. cleaner that you can be, Courtney you can't Lee. put money on that. Courtney Lee, hear me when I say this. I said, and you said Chandler said it too. You give cleaners, young guys, hope. But now I'm going to go one step further. And I know all nationalities won't be able to understand this, but if they do, they do it. They don't, they don't. Coming from Decatur, Georgia, coming from North Philadelphia, okay? Now, I guess I gave, I don't know Decatur, Georgia, but I'm listening to what you say about it, and I do know very much about North Philadelphia. And what I'm saying to you, these young men, I'm not going to say color, these young men, need more than hope. They need a purpose. Courtney Lee, at 37 years old, you give young men purpose. You know why? Because you tell them if they get the hope from you, but then you say you can do it. You can do it. You don't have to have this machine. You don't have to have Truman Steamer's truck. You don't have to have the rig of Chandler Thompson the fine fabric specialist, my man. And you don't have to have the rig of Chad Mays. Also, he let us know last year. He'll let us know again. He cleans the live. He don't live to clean. That is paramount. If Chad Mays precedes me and he leaves dessert before me, I'm going to make sure this industry knows that saying. You clean to live. You do not live to clean. Chad Mays, everyone, from the Cleaners Connect, he will be here in a couple weeks. But this is Courtney Lee's time. You give people purpose. You give a young man, and I'm going to take off my glasses because I want you to see me, Courtney Lee, when I say this. You give young men that watch your videos on YouTube the purpose that they need if they have it in them to make it. You tell them you can do it. I started off here. You take them back to the Badlands, whatever you call it, Decatur, Georgia, where you say, this is where I came from. You take him, you even did a video last year of some guy on the street somewhere, and he read, I know you, Courtney, I know you, Courtney. And you was like, oh, thanks, man. You were so humble, and you, you shook his hand. Do you know that made that bum or young man, I don't want to call him a bum, I don't know him. I saw his appearance. He was having a hard day. You made his day. Day. He shook the hand of the great Courtney Lee. You take that to bed with you tonight. You feel good about what you do. And you did. You helped Josh. Now, Josh wasn't a poor guy. So that works both ways. Josh watched you on YouTube and he found you. He followed you. And he said, if anyone can help me build a purpose in my life. It was you. You said you ran his credit card. The money was there. But see what they don't know about you, Courtney Lee. You're like me. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about the money. Yeah, you got paid for it. If you're good at something, you should never do it free. And I don't care what nobody say in your group or mine. It's about helping when you talk to us, when you sing to us in the morning, what you disgusted for, what you unhappy for. It's a beautiful day. Do you know how many people need that? And I thank yep. you and I salute you, my good brother. Well, I appreciate you, Roger. And vice versa, man. Vice versa. We're all different. We all got our different styles, our different personalities. But at the end of the day, man, we're all the same. We're all trying to reach that, that mountaintop. I did a video on YouTube a while back. Is uh, Focus on your own mountain. You know, a lot of us start at the bottom. You know, some of us, some of us might be a little fortunate where we can start in the middle, you know, and very, very few people in this world are born at the top, you know, but most of us start at the bottom. And when you're trying to reach the top, if you want to reach the top, you can't be focused on everybody else's mountain. So when I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do to reach the top of my mountain, I can't focus on Roger Mountain. I can't focus on Chandler's Mountain. But can I scream and holler and say, Roger, keep pushing, keep climbing? That's what it's about. You know, I'm not, you know, looking at Chandler's Mountain and wonder why he's here and I'm down here. Well, guess what? That's why he's here and I'm down here because I'm, I'm focused on the wrong thing. So, you know. That's what I do, man, because at the end of the day, the ride alone was not about the money. Because, first of all, I could have offered Josh that ride alone for free. And don't you know, you see, this is a lot of things a lot of people don't understand. 
people, when they pay for something, and especially when they pay of it with value, they appreciate it more. They appreciate it more. And that's just a proven fact. So I knew when Josh came to me, he, he, he emailed me. He sent me his number, and I reached out. Again, it wasn't about the money. It was about the experience. It was about the value. Before I get off here, let me tell you this. If you don't believe me, you can ask Josh yourself. After the third day, Saturday, me and Josh talked. We had dinner together. I said, Josh, just be honest with me. Do you think this ride alone was worth $2,000? He said, Courtney, I'm going to be honest with you. And when he said, I'm going to be honest with you, I got kind of nervous. <laughs> he said, Courtney, I'm going to be This ride alone was way valuable in a thousand. Say it one with more you, time. I would have gave you a thousand dollars a day. Right. Mm. Wow. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Now we can. Mm. Uh, what's the last thing you heard? No, you said he said he would have paid you a thousand and it broke up a day. He, he said he would have paid me a dollars a day. He would have gave me dollars. Sometimes people see more value in you than you see yourself. So to Josh, you're right, Roger. From 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 a third eye view, it wasn't even that ride alone wasn't even about the money. It was about the value that he seen and he knew he was going to get. So for him to tell me that, it's like. It was mind blowing. He would have gave me three thousand dollars if I would have asked for it. So at the end of the day, guys, we about to uh, end this video. But just take what Josh said. At the end of the day, closed mouths don't get fed. If you want something, if you need something, open up your damn mouth and ask. That's it. Hey everyone, I'm gonna just say it like this. Courtney Lee, A stand for applause. I don't even have to tell you how many A's I'm supposed to see down there. This is going to be posted on the Cleaners Connect page. This is going to go on my YouTube page. This is going to go on Courtney's page. That's Courtney Lee, everyone. Listen, you heard it from him. If you interested, he offers a ride along service. His next one, I guess, will be in the summertime. But reach out to him if you're not probably, in probably the fall time. Probably yeah, okay. in the summer, maybe beginning fall. There you go. You heard it. Reach out to him earlier though, so you can work it out. Get your little money together. Whatever you need, it's more than worth it. It's not about the money. You hearing it from the man? I'm proud, just like he is to be back in tune with him, which y'all don't know is, which he did tell you, me and him talk off the video, off the screen as friends and brothers, because we are going to help revolutionize this industry in our time. Courtney Lee, a lot longer than me. So keep watching him, keep following him, keep supporting him so he can do one thing, help bring this industry up as a whole. All right, brother Courtney. And, and one thing, Roger, I want to put this out there, too. I can't do it by myself. I need guys. So if you're a guy, if you're a cleaner, uh, you love to do, uh, uh, you feel good about what you do, you love this industry, guys, offer offer the ride alongs. You know, like I told those guys the other day, if you want to do it for free, if you want to do it for a, a, a $100, $1,000, 5000 just offer it because there's a lot of guys. I'm telling you, there's a lot of cleaners out here that will be willing to ride with someone who has a good reputation and they can learn from. So don't let just this be because I, I didn't invent it. I heard about ride alongs years ago. I just didn't know who was doing them. But this can be a, a, a new adventure for the whole carpet cleaning group. So those guys that don't want to go sit in class and pay five, six hundred dollars, they can just take that same money and apply it to real. That's what, you know, Josh told this. Josh has also paid to go to Arizona a year ago to learn how to clean. But he said, Courtney, I didn't like it because it wasn't real. He said it was staged. He said, I don't want someone to take a piece of carpet and cut it out and put it in the warehouse. I want I want to do the real thing. I want to go I want to uh, 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 um, um, utilize. I want to experience real life situations. And that's what he did. So 
Don't let this just be about Courtney. Don't let this just be about cleaners connect or carpet cleaning work. All you guys, if you have something that, that you can offer of value, do it. Do it. You see, I did it. You can do the same thing. We all can do this together. Cause like I said, I, I'm not trying to make ride alongs uh, you know, my uh bread and butter. It's something that I want to do uh maybe once or twice a year, uh, for people who you guys or a few members or whoever that want to experience real life clean real life experiences going into real home who you know can for it let it be known put it out there don't wait till someone do it and then want to talk about oh i do the same thing or i would have did the same thing if you're going to do it guys do it and like i said this would definitely this would definitely um uh, be a life changing uh um uh um experience to, to a lot of new clean and not only new cleaners, cleaners who might need to be revamped, cleaners who might need to be re-educated, uh, because you never know, you know, what they're going to get out of it. You know, when Josh told me that it helped him improve his confidence, I wasn't looking for Josh to come ride with me to improve his confidence, but that's what that's that's more that he got out of it. And and again, it improved him not only uh, only as a, as a, a new cleaner, but also. A new person so that's all i'm saying man it's just it's not about courtney it's not about courtney trying to take over or courtney trying to reinvent the wheel um i'm just trying to do my part but at the same time we all can do it together but again roger man thank you uh you have a great night clean us uh carpet clean the world um guys thank you again i greatly appreciate this thank you brother everyone good night all right all right roger see you in the next one bro all right, brother. I got to run to the